Ew, what are we talking about? Oh, my dating? Oh, yeah, okay. you're dating. <laughs> I can do that pretty fast. What up, guys? Um, so, wait, hold on. Is the mic on? Not like last time. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, we are actually going to follow up on Angela's dating life or non non existent dating life. For <laughs> Uh, I think last time we talked, basically, you pretty much quit online dating. Was and... that the last time we talked about that? I don't know. I think we were On still camera? talking. Yeah, I think we're still talking about online dating still. You just like you're like, oh, it's not for me. I'm meeting these like oh, shitty yeah. ass guys. Yeah. So that I quit <laughs> for three months, right? Cold turkey. So oh. today, I just want to ask you a little bit about how is it like not like online dating or anything because like everybody like at our age everybody's like oh who are you dating are you like going on online dates stuff like that mm -hmm. so i just want to get your opinion about what is it like not online dating at all it's refreshing but at the same time it's a lot harder to find dates you know mm -hmm. before i'm like booking dates now i'm like oh my god there's no dates um you kind of have to <laughs> it's a good and bad thing more time for myself you know <laughs> But um, no, but really like you have to kind of put yourself out there and I think it's a great way to like meet people and actually try to make an effort um, Unfortunately, you just have to know the right places because I think that's a hard part right now to find the right place to meet the right guys mm -hmm. Quote quotes, but right now it's hard because I think all the places I've been going so far It's either too young crowd or people that are not like me you know, like you kind of have to define yourself and go to those places that you will meet those people that are similar to your interests. So okay, so hold up, let's uh, let's break down what's what's your strategy these last few oh, months. Well, what was your initial strategy going well. on? <laughs> were you going? Were you, try, were you trying to hit up elementary schools, middle schools? <laughs> I want to know your strategy. Okay, well first first off, I really didn't have a strategy. It was just more like okay, I'm just gonna hang out with girlfriends, go to bars or lounges and whatever. Like we'll just have a good time. Okay. If people talk to us, then they talk to us. You know. I just happened to be like those people, these boys, were really young. <laughs> so, you know, it kind of gave us this wrong vibe and kind of makes you feel bad at the end of the night yeah. thinking like, fuck, like these guys are like five years younger than me, six, seven, I don't know, that the other night, 21 year old hit on me. I think that's a little pushing it, guys. Come on out. <laughs> I'm 30. <laughs> In the back of your head, were you like, oh shit, are these yeah. like, are these the only guys I can get? No, I think I just have to be at a more mature place, you okay. know, wherever it may be. And I think. Also, like I said in my previous video about volunteering, like if you do something that you're really passionate about and you volunteer, you'll might, you might meet someone that is also volunteering and yeah. I think you'll click a lot better and I think you'll find someone that is more tailored to your taste. But let's be real, if you're hitting up the clubs and stuff, come on. I didn't say clubs. Whatever. Like They're lounges. lounges. <laughs> Whatever. Those, you know there's a bunch of little kids there. So it's true. after you tried that, that didn't work out, mm -hmm. what else did you try? I didn't. <laughs> Hence, no dates. <laughs> I just, you know, <laughs> I have a good time with myself. <laughs> I, you know, I have like, you know, I just try to um, go out with my roommate, I go out with my friends, and just see yeah. what happens. You know, it's just, it, you don't really, you can't predict it. And I think I kind of came to the conclusion with like my roommate and my friends, like you can't go out really looking for it. It just kind of comes to you, you know? And I think the more you try to search for it, the more it just feels harder and they don't mm -hmm. come to you. So I don't know. It's do you feel like um, now that everybody around us is getting married and stuff, uh -huh. do you feel like, do you still feel like left out and stuff like that or? Definitely. The other day really? I somehow got reactivated on my Facebook and all I saw was baby pictures of weddings. I'm like, oh, like this is why I took myself out of it. But it's okay. Like I'm happy for everyone. But I think at the same time um, when you spend time with other families now like their babies and their, and their significant other or you know like you hear a lot of crazy stories and or like today for example we we hung out with a baby and i was like oh she's so fun she's so cute and at the end of like that two three hours i was like but i'm tired i'm like i'm done and that was just for fun yeah <laughs> so i don't think i'm actually ready anyway i think it's just the idea of it sounds really ideal and mm -hmm. actually what you kind of expect in your life at this point but even then me at this mind state right now mm -hmm. i just don't think i'm ready yeah. for those when do you think you'll be ready <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's all good. 
I mean, I think like for, it'll come. <laughs> I think for me, like when I went to Atlanta, I was chilling with some of my friends, like Lynn and Chris. They had uh -huh. they had they had Caden and stuff, uh -huh. and their little kid. Uh -huh. Actually, it sort of shifted the way I thought. Like for the first time, I was like, "Damn." You want kids? No, I well, oh, I fuck, like... fuck no, not right now. But <laughs> you know, like it's um, it's sort of like seeing them all so happy. It makes you sort of want to want to move on to the next chapter of your life and stuff. Like yeah, that. I think that's the best part of it. Mm. But I think you only see the few hours. You know, and you don't see the full picture, the behind the scenes, and that's where all the hard work is. Girl, you got some crazy ass sex hair shit. <laughs> well, you know, no yeah. kidding. <laughs> you're not planning to do online dating. What What do you plan on doing now? Like, you're just gonna just be like, oh, I'm just gonna chill. I'm out gonna. <laughs> Hopefully, some guy will come knock at my door and shit. Yeah, that's my plan. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm just gonna wing it. I think I'm just gonna just do what I want to do and just. If I happen to meet someone, I'll meet someone. I don't want to force mm -hmm. anything to happen, and I don't want to be actively looking. I think that's the problem. So, mm -hmm. I think you have a really good point though about like going to volunteer events and stuff, like yeah. doing things that you're really interested at our age and stuff. And yeah. I think that's like a really great way to meet people our age, anyways. But anyways, there's just a freaking recap of me and Angela just shooting the shit. <laughs> and uh, if you guys want to date Angela, comment Shut up. <laughs> no. hit her. Hit up her IG right here. Make sure to follow her. She only has 100 followers, so make sure to follow her. Let's try to make She's it to dateless. 500, guys. She's dateless, guys. And uh, I know what the comments are going to say. Kevin, why don't you smash her in the ass? I can't do it. Yeah, let's not be so vulgar, guys. My let's mom's be... watching this shit, Yeah, man. hi, Mrs. E. The dirty little chinos. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to shoot another video. Peace, guys. Bye. <laughs> Wait, what happened to my hair? Once you finish, you can pay off your loans in like two, three years, no problem. Um, you can save a bunch of money, buy my nice clothes, nice shoes, nice purses. Well, when you get out and you actually do get a job, I mean, yes, you're very excited, but 